Greetings Netrunners and welcome to the first part of our look at the Caliguda data pack from the Mumbad cycle. This is the first data pack from the new cycle and we're going to be starting with the runner cards. First up we have for the Anarchs, Run Amok. The event Run with the new Sabotage ones has Make a Run. When the run ends, trash one piece of ice that was registered during this run. Well, that is amazing because if you know the Corp has um, a really expensive piece of ice they've put out to protect one of their servers, then you can make sure they'll think twice about resing it. Because if you use this for event, you can make them get rid of it straight away, and then you can keep hitting that server. Cost of three. Next up, we have one of the new consumer grade hardwares, the Remugen Reliant 550 BMI. It's consumer grade hardware, has cost of one, and trash, prevent up to X net or brain damage. And trash cards from the top of your stack equal to the amount of damage prevented. X is the number of copies of Remugen Reliant 550 BMI installed, including the one just trashed. And you can have up to six in the deck. This is one of the first cards where you can have more than just three. And it has the ability to prevent up to six damage if you have all of them installed. Next we have Street Magic. Now I especially like this new one. It's a resource virtual and has unbroken subroutines resolve in the order of your choice. So if you run into a piece of ice, like Tsurugi, that has a lot of power and you can't break it, with this, you can make sure you hit the end the run one first before taking all that net damage. So it's a really good way to protect yourself. And with a cost of zero, you can't beat that. Next we go on to the criminals. And first we have high stakes job, a new event run, and a cost of six. This is one of the new job ones where I make a run on the server with at least one piece of unresed ice, when the run ends, gain 12 credits if it was successful. Now, we've had plenty of jobs before in it, where you gain the amount of credits on it, and you then click it to get the credits off of it. With this one, you just have to make a run. And it has to be on a server with a piece of unresed dice. So that can be a bit tricky, if you've got something like a grappling hook to get past that unresed dice, as long as it runs successfully, you're getting those 12 credits. Next, we have a new program for the criminals, the Mongoose. Cost of three, memory cost of one, and it's Icebreaker Killer. You can't use Mongoose to break subroutines on more than one piece of ice per run. So, a bit limited there. As one credit, break up to two sentry subroutines, and two credits plus two strength, the starting strength of one. So, it is good, but the limit of only being able to use it on one piece of ice per run could be a bit limiting. I think other pieces of ice will trump this one in the future when choosing what you're going to have in your deck. Next one to the Shapers and their new runner. Jasminda Serene, the girl behind the curtain. Identity natural and 45 and 15 limits as usual, and has avoid the first tag during each run. Now you're probably thinking that there is better shaper ones out there, but when you combine that with her console, which is the next card, Maya, it has hardware console, plus two memory, and once per turn, immediately after you access a card from R&D, you may add that card to the bottom of R&D. If you do, take one tag. So you can look at the top card of R&D. If it's not something you can trash or get rid of, but you don't want the corp to have it, maybe a bit of their economy, you can then put it on the bottom of R&D just by taking a tag. But the first time she takes a tag each turn, she avoids it. Next, we have... Now, this is a difficult one to say. Pachat... Panchatanara. Panchatantra. Once per turn, when you encounter a piece of ice, you may have it gain one subtype of your choice that's not sentry, kogate, or barrier for the remainder of this run. So it gives you the things that you can give it killer or one of the other subtypes like that. This could be handy, but I think there are other pieces of ice that can alter the types of what the ice are that could be more helpful than this is. It could get some use, but we'll have to see. Next we have Artist Colony. Now this is amazing. Cost of zero, resource location, forfeit an agenda, very high cost. But search your stack for a card and install it, paying the install cost, shuffle your stack. Why is this so amazing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, fellow runners, this is our first ability as a runner that lets you go searching for a piece of hardware. You can search your stack for any card and install it. And all you have to do is forfeit an agenda. Pretty pricey, I know. 
but you could also use this for getting rid of some of those newer agendas where the corpse are able to hurt you by having those agendas in your score area. So it could be used for that as well. And I think for, I would be willing to fork on an agenda to make sure I could get the console I wanted out and in play. Next we have the neutral cards and it's Chatterjee University. Cost of one, location Ritzy. Has click, place one power counter on Chatterjee University and click install a program from your gift, lowering the install cost by one for each power counter on Chatterjee University. Remove one hosted power counter. Now that is really good because if you've been clicking each turn, got this out early, then you will have several power counters on there. And then when you click to install the program, you don't lose all the counters, just one. So you can then click it back up again the next turn. So that's all the cards for the runners from the new data pack. Next we'll be looking at the corp cards. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.